A surprising number of people have had crashes either while starting up playing randomly black screens, gray screens in Monster Hunter Wilds, and in this quick video, I'll show you how to fix most of them, if not all of those issues. Let's begin. Before we do anything, make sure your Windows is up to date, and of course, your graphics card driver. You'll find links for the NVIDIA, Intel, Arc, and AMD driver websites down below to make sure everything's up to date. That being said, if you're an AMD user, consider downloading the Adrenaline 25.2.1 optional update, as this is likely going to fix a lot of your issues. It's the most up-to-date version. Just look for it when you're searching for your graphics card on the website, or use this link down below to download the optional 25.2.1 update. Keep in mind, in the future, as in a couple weeks from now, this optional update may have been included in the official normal updates, and you don't need to download this separately. On this page, click this link right over here to download it. If your Windows is up to date and your graphics card driver, if you're currently running an overclock or an undervolt, open up MSI Afterburner or whatever you're working in and disable those overclocks or undervolts temporarily, just to make sure there's no system instability causing issues with the game. And of course, the final simplest solution is to just reboot your system and only open Steam as well as the game to make sure there's nothing running in the background that's hooking into the game and causing issues. This counts for any overlay like Discord or even recording software like OBS or Metal. A fresh restart and launching just the game platform and the game means that nothing else should start and you've got a good chance of things working again. Also, if you're a Valorant player, check the bottom right of your start menu down here and make sure that Vanguard isn't running. Click the up arrow to check this box and if you you see Vanguard, right click followed by exit. Assuming none of those helped, let's start by opening Steam and searching for Monster Hunter Wilds. Right click the game, properties, and on the installed files tab over here, make sure to verify integrity of game files. This will run through all of your currently installed game files and make sure they match the latest official version. If anything is corrupt, it'll be fixed here. The steps may be slightly different for a different platform, of course, but just verify your game files. While we're still here, inside of the right-click properties menu, head down to DLC and make sure you don't have the high resolution texture pack installed. If you see high resolution texture pack, just uncheck it here and the 70 gig disk size will be freed up and the high resolution texture pack uninstalled. This, while causing frame drops and other issues, is causing some people's games to crash outright, especially if you don't have enough VRAM to load these to begin with. If you have this checked and now you uncheck it, you've got a good chance that your game works again. Then, while we're in Steam, right-click Monster Hunter Wilds, head to Manage, followed by Browse Local Files. This will take us to where the game is installed. Inside of here, there's a few things that we can do. First of all, look for config.ini and open this. It should open with any text editor, like Notepad. Inside of here, hit Ctrl F to search, and then look for Frame Generation Mode. One word. This is underneath graphics slash DLSS. Make sure it says Frame Generation Mode equals, followed by off capital O. This turns off frame gen for DLSS, even if you don't have access to it, or you don't even have an NVIDIA graphics card. Then right below this, you'll see graphics FSR3. Make sure that enable frame generation, one word again, is set to false. So enable frame generation equals false, capital F. If you change anything in here, hit Control S to save, close this and launch up your game. Things might be fixed. If they're not, while we're still in this game files folder here, there's a few more things that we can do. If you've installed something like a modding platform, such as ReFramework, which is a modding platform for RE games, there is an older version that was used not in the final release that isn't updated with today's builds. So try uninstalling any modding platforms that you have installed and see if the game works. The same goes for other applications that hook into it, such as Reshade. If you have Reshade downloaded and installed, open the Reshade installer once more and choose Monster Hunter Wilds, followed by Uninstall. This will remove Reshade, and if that's causing issues, it should be fixed now. That being said, this goes for anything that hooks into the game. If you're trying to get access to content that you shouldn't have access to, definitely undo whatever you're doing there, and a normal installation of the game should work fine. If that sounds like you, head back to your Steam folder up here, where Steam is installed, find version.dll and delete it. You'll need to make sure Steam is closed, so Steam followed by exit. You might not have version.dll and that's fine. And another possible solution while we're still inside of this game folder, look for crash report and crash report dll. These of course handle crashes in the game. Delete both of these files, play the game and see if it works fine. It's very weird, but some people have reported that this fixes it. 
I wouldn't recommend deleting them permanently, either move them out of the folder by right click, cutting them and pasting them into a different folder, or if you do delete them, restore them from your cycle bin later if this fix didn't help. Then the final thing that we can do while we're still inside of this folder is find monsterhunterwilds.exe. Right click this, choose properties, and on the compatibility tab, make sure to tick run this program as an administrator. When you do so, hotkeys for things like Discord and OBS might not work properly while you're tabbed into the game. That's expected behavior. If this fixes it for you, run those programs as admin as well, and that should fix any hotkey issues. Then you can also try running the game in compatibility mode for Windows 8 or Windows 7. Some people report that this works. Oftentimes this is just snake oil. Maybe it works for you, maybe not. Now that we've tried pretty much everything in the game folder, right click at the very top where this text is and choose copy address. We're going to try and tell our Windows antivirus to allow the game to access game files and files on our PC, and we'll try and make sure that the game has access through the Windows firewall. If you're using a third-party antivirus or third-party firewall, make sure that those aren't interfering with the game. For the Windows antivirus, hit Start, type in Threat, and open Virus and Threat Protection. Inside of this window, under Virus and Threat Protection, assuming you don't have a third-party antivirus running, I've pulled up a virtual machine for this, but all the way down by Ransomware Protection, click Manage Ransomware Protection. If Controlled Folder Access is turned on, click Allow an App through Controlled Folder Access, yes. Then add an allowed app, followed by Browse All Apps. Then navigate to where the game's installed and select the main monsterhunterwilds.exe. Assuming that doesn't work, hit Start and type in Firewall, where we'll be opening, under Settings, Allow an App through Windows Firewall. This will open up your Control Panel, followed by System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall, and Allowed Apps. Here, click Change settings in the top right, allow another app, then browse, navigate to where your game's installed, select Monster Hunter Wilds, open, add, and once it's been added, make sure there's a tick on the far left, followed by a tick under private and public on the far right. Click OK once you're done with that. Now that it's been allowed through our Windows firewall and our antivirus isn't playing tricks with it, we should be able to play the game properly. One final note is that if you're running an AMD graphics card and you don't have that optional update, try opening up Adrenaline and limiting your power of your graphics card to around 80-ish something percent. This way you can keep your clock under 3 gigahertz, which is known to sometimes cause instability. Very weird, but that's what that optional update should have fixed. And assuming you're an AMD graphics card user, it, that single tip might help you out a bit. But anyways, that's really it for this quick video. Hopefully you're able to play the game once more, and of course, hopefully as well, things are improved in the future. There's still a lot of work that needs to go into this, and a lot of love to make this game a great one. Hopefully you found this video useful, thank you for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!